What's up guys? In this session, let's create one application, a very small application, uh, very relevant to something called as paint application. Let's create one application where we can draw something. Okay. So whenever I move a mouse, something, uh, you, you can create some uh, drawing inside this form. So let's create that application. Okay. So in this video, we will create or we will go through uh, something called as uh, graphics. Okay. It's a new class. And we will take some components of that class okay so let's get started <clears throat> so for this ui i need one panel and you can take your panel from this container okay from this container tab and you can drag and drop here so this is my panel so i will resize it to some extent so in this panel you have to draw okay and uh, let's take uh, one one button here and button is specifically for to change the color okay so you can change the color of your brush so if it is black so when you click on this button and you select one color so the same color you can you can write or draw inside this panel okay so this is for that there is button and then let's take one um, radio button uh, yeah so radio button where is it okay so there is this one radio button and then let me drag it two and then let me drag it three okay so we have three radio button so i'll change the text properties of this control so this is going to be color and then let me drag it to a little down and then this radio button is going to be uh, let me call it as a line width so this radio button what what exactly you can do with this line width uh, you can select any of this radio button and you can resize your pen okay you can resize your pointer here so it is going to be the pointer size okay it can be you can elongate it you can you can make it a wider and wider and smaller and smaller based on the size that we are given in this uh, radio button so this line width is of size let me call the size as 5 and then the next line width is going to be let me call it as line width 10 and this line width is going to be 15 okay okay so this is it this is somehow the design that we are creating and now let's get into the code part so i'll press f7 to enter into the code so now I'll resize the uh, fonts here and then let me close this. Okay. Now the first thing that we need to do here is we need to take some, uh, you know, initial steps. So the initial steps is I need to define my X dimensions and Y dimensions. Okay. So I'll define some dimensions over here. I need to take some point that is to be created inside this panel. Okay. So let me take those points. So I'll say public and the point let me call it as x equals to new point so this is my new point in the same way i'll say public point y equals to new point and then i'll create these are the dimensions so i fixed my dimensions now actually this is not fixed they are completely variable because we are not giving any size over here right so th these are completely variable uh, sorry they are completely dynamic and will create uh, the uh, we will give the size but not uh, yet okay so the next thing uh, that we ne we need to do is we need to create a pen here so i'll say public i'll say pen p equals to new pen and the pen needs see what pen needs it needs a brush and then color okay so you can see precisely over here it needs a brush and a color so i'll say the color is it, it needs a color so the color is color dot let me take it as uh, purple purple and i'll give the size or width of this pen so let me take it as two two is okay it is max it's not yet maximum but it's fine it's completely okay next thing that i need is i need another variable for my graphics class so public graphics g okay so now next thing that we need to do is with this initialize component, I will write 
where exactly I need this graphics, this graphics, where exactly I need, I need this graphics to be inserted in this, in this panel. So I'll write here, I'll say this, or let me take it as G equals to panel one. So panel one dot, I'll say create graphics. So your graphics, which is there in the panel stored inside the G, G is nothing but class of graphics. Okay. Now let's create some events here. Here, so on, on based on those events, we will write some code. So the first event that you need to create here is the mouse down. And where exactly you put this event inside this panel? So you click on this panel and then go to the properties and go to the events. Okay, so your panel, right click, go to the properties, and there is your properties and select this event button here. So I'll click on this event button and the event is mouse down. So you double click on this mouse down and you will write D or oh, sorry Y equals to Y is nothing but your this point this Y dimension point Y equals to I'll say E dot location. So now your this location this E dot location is fixed. I'm sorry this is not method. So this e dot location is fixed inside this y. So your y dimension is completely fixed now. Okay. Earlier it was not, but now it is fixed. Okay. <coughs> so now the next event that we need to create is mouse move. So whenever a user mouse uh, a user move his or her mouse inside this panel, something creates. Okay. So we need that functionality. So we'll create that uh, event. We'll generate that event. Go to the panel, select events, and the event name is mouse move. So double click on this, and then you will write if <coughs> e dot button e dot button equal equals to mouse sorry mouse buttons dot left. So if if user select mouse button dot left, if he press the mouse button and the and precisely if he press uh, left button then what I need to do I need to create some drawing here okay so I will first fix my x dimension here so x equals to e dot location very similar way uh, where we have created our y dimension in the same way you will create your x dimension equal x equals to e dot location and next thing is you need to create you need to create some drawing right you need to create some drawing here so you can you can you can draw so many things here you can take rectangles, you can take ellipse, circle, many things. So more precisely, I need a freehand drawing, right? I need a freehand drawing. So I'll create some, I'll create some line here, free lines. So I'll say G, where all the components of drawing is being stored. So G dot draw line. You can see here, so many, you know, the uh, shapes and sizes are available. You can take any one. So first of all, I'll take a G dot draw and line. G dot draw line. And draw line needs it needs a pen so I'll pass my pen which I already had created in the above see here in the above part I had I had already created this pen so I just pass that variable P next it needs point P1 and point P2 right it needs see here what it needs it needs it needs point 1 and point P2 so where exactly my point uh, pt1 and pt2 they are nothing but x and y dimensions so i'll simply pass x and y and then <clears throat> and then i'll say your 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 y equals to x okay so your y equals to x and now when you run this application when you run this application you will see so when i run this you can see i can i can i can create anything here i mean i can create a house i can i can create anything here okay so freehand drawing you can create anything here this is the panel so you uh, you know the uh, where exactly the panel is you can see this is the panels panel uh, you know the extent of panel um, out of that panel you cannot you cannot draw anything so now you are uh, you know you you're uh, available to create anything inside this panel now we need to write some code for this color color box this color box we need to open one uh, dialog box here and that dialog box name is color dialog okay so let me double click on this 
color dialog box or you can say this button so when i when i click on that it will generate one click event and i will write here i'll import color dialog i'll create the variable of that cd equals to new color dialog and then i'll say if condition i'm sorry if if condition i'll say if it is that color dialog box when it, whenever it pops up and if i press okay when i press that okay then what happens i need to change the color right that's the logic that we need to create here so i'll simply say cd that's my color dialogs if it is open here if it if it show dialog or if it is open if it if it is showing you some dialog here if it is open and users user select the okay button then what i need to do here i need to do i need to pass my that color dialogs color so i'll simply say cd dot color i'll say cd dot color i need to pass where in my pen right so i'll simply say p dot color so now your color dialog color is going to be stored inside the pen color okay so whatever the color you select here uh, the pen color is going to be associated with it okay so now when you run this when you run this application you'll see initially i have this violet color or the purple color when i select the color it will pops up the color dialog box here and let me take the yellow color and press ok the pen color is going to be you know change from purple to yellow again i go to the here and i take one more color and you will see so you can see it precisely working and uh, it's completely okay right now now let's let's get back to the design part and let's uh, code this line width i need to i need to give the size to my pen 5 10 and 15 so what code i can exactly put here I'll, say, I'll simply say if user select this radio button then size is going to be 5 if user select this 10 then this uh, pen size is going to be 10 and then uh, again in the same way 15 so i'll go to my form 1.cs i go to the mouse down event and i'll write here the code exactly i'll write here y equals to e dot uh, oh it is there okay y equals to e dot location and then i'll simply pass here if condition i'll say if radio button one dot radio button one dot checked oh, i'm sorry radio button one dot checked if it is checked then give me the width so i'll say p dot width equals to equals to <laughs> let me take it as five okay now if it is not there then else if i'll say radio button two dot checked and if it, if it if user had selected this radio button two then what i need to do p dot width equals to let me take it take it as 15 in the same way i will copy this for my width 15 so i will say there is going to be 15 oh 15 and then this is radio button 3 okay so now when i run this let's see what happened initially it is in the purple color because by default it's a purple color i'll select line width 10 and you will see the size is size is 15 now 15 is going to be more you know resizable okay so this is perfectly working now the next thing that i need to uh, that i need to create here is i need to erase this how exactly i can do this right this is probably the most hard work of gdi plus uh, we cannot do this because this pixels are actually stored inside somewhere but we cannot you know undo this so what exactly the step we can perform over here <clears throat> one thing we can do is we need to change the color of this form so let's create this uh, sorry we need to change this color right so let's just change the color of this form so i'll go to my form 1.cs design i'll go to the property let me find the property color and uh, here it is background color is there yeah so this is back color i'll select the color as control light or let me take it as more white so what is more white 
yeah so the button highlight is okay yeah so button highlight is completely okay so what we did is we change the back color of this form from gray to somehow the white color right so the next thing we need to change some code here so I go to my code part and I will say I'll create one more pen so I will write public pen p1 equals to new pen and I'll change the color color to color dot white and I will also resize it to 10 so this is going to be my big eraser I'll go to mouse uh, move event and I will again copy this uh, I will copy this code and then I'll paste it and I'll change from mouse button left to mouse button right okay and I will also change this pen to from P to P1 and now when I run this you will see now when I run this I will I'm drawing something here and now when I when I press uh, right button or left button sorry right button and when I move my mouse you can see I can erase these uh, these lines which I which I had uh, designed or which I had you know uh, created here I can easily erase with the help of this 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 code so this code is going to write something on that panel okay it can draw anything on that panel and this this e dot button or mouse button dot right is going to erase whatever you have whatever you had draw uh, on drawn on that panel okay so easy distinguished uh, between mouse button left and mouse button dot right with the help of you can create it otherwise what you can do you can go to design part you can take one one button here change that uh, change that you know the property of this button from uh, this this rectangle to some image and then put a eraser image there and inside that you can write this code this e dot button equal equals to mouse button dot write but that thing is it has to be in the mouse move so what you what exactly you can do you can take one method and inside that you can write and pass that method in both event in the button click event and and this mouse move event you can do exactly the same thing okay i hope you understand it uh, this is our uh, paint application we have created a very small application where we uh, where we learn how to draw something inside the panel how to change that pen from one color to another another color with the help of color dialog box and then we also had seen how to change the width size of that pen from 5 10 15 and many more uh, you know sizes or width that you want okay then we also had seen how to erase uh, the uh, drawn line which you have created with the help of uh, with the help of changing the color of that pen right and changing the color of this form i hope you understand it thank you so much for listening to me